From Spiral Studio comes a brand new, stunning Godzilla 2014 figure. Slated for an April 2024 release date, this figure stands over 17 inches tall and over 17 inches long. There is also both a standard version and a heat ray version as well. It's not often that I do content on figures from the MonsterVerse, and while I do like a lot of the designs from the MonsterVerse, I just much more prefer the Toho Japan Godzilla. With that said, once I saw images of this figure, my jaw dropped, and I do think that this is one of the best looking Godzilla 2014 figures I've ever seen from any company. So based on the listing from Spiral Studios' website directly, this figure is part of their Titans of the Monsterverse series. I'm not too familiar with this series of figures, if this is a first or if there's been others prior. For those who know better, you can tell me down below in the comments. But the scale to me is really interesting because this is a little over 17 inches tall, so it's kind of in between uh, a standard X plus gigantic figure and I guess a 30 centimeter figure from X plus is in between those two scales. Personally, I collect things of all different scales, so to me, I don't really care if something is exactly in line with another figure that I have. Um, while I would love to have this figure, unfortunately, I think I'm just too limited on space and, and budget right now that I can't really get this one. Uh, I do have the X Plus Gigantic King of the Monsters uh, Godzilla, the standard release back from, I think, 2019. Wow. But uh, that was a great figure, but there's just something about this design, which is interesting because... After King of the Monsters came out and Godzilla vs. Kong, I much more preferred the updated look of Godzilla compared to 2014. But I will say that this is the first iteration of the 2014 design in any sort of format, figure, or, or artwork, where I think that everything looks good to me. Because I remember not really liking the dorsal plates or the feet. I thought they were too stubby. So I don't know if it's the pose that they chose and it's the specific angles that this figure is turned at that just makes it look better. But... I honestly love the whole thing. I think the dorsal plates look excellent, the feet look really good. Obviously the overall sculpt is just excellent, extremely screen accurate, there is so much crisp detail in there. And I'm just imagining a 17 in over 17 inch tall figure that looks this great. I like the pose a lot too because it's also obviously very imposing, but it doesn't take up a lot of space in terms of the tail. Because I know, just to compare again to the X Plus Gigantic uh, King of the Monsters figure, that tail is like over a foot long, and man, talk about a shelf hog, that one is crazy. So the standard version has that standard color scheme that we see in the movie, so we have those shades of black, charcoal, I think a little bit of brown and a little bit of green. Uh, it's pretty cool to see this design in much brighter light, because I just know in general, whole monsterverse, except for I guess Godzilla vs. Kong, but a lot of it is just shrouded in so much darkness and, and, and dust, dirt, and snow, whatever else, whatever other elements, so it's great to see this sculpt just in bright light with a white background. You just get to see all the amazing details on this thing. Now, with the Heat Ray version, the sculpt is identical. I can't tell if there's any difference in the paint job for the entirety of the body. It looks to be the same to me. Obviously, the difference here is that we have the atomic breath effect being uh, replicated in the dorsal plates with them being painted blue. And this is the exact description I'm taking straight from the Spiral Studio website. Utilizing multiple layers of metallic and clear paints, we have imitated the charging effect on Godzilla's dorsal fins right before he bursts out his atomic ray at the female Mudo. So based on this description, it looks like we're going to have a really cool sort of glowing effect on this figure. Um, just to clarify, I don't believe that this will be using any sort of clear vinyl, but instead they're replicating this light source just with the use of specific paints. Uh, looking at these pictures here, it does look pretty cool, but of course, this is one of those things that you'll get a better sense of uh, when you see it in hand. I also wanted to take a closer look at the head sculpt here, so we're kind of just going back and forth between the standard and heat ray versions, but it's, like I said, the same sculpt. But, um, man, this head sculpt is amazing. The sculptor that's listed with a credit here on Spiral Studios' website is Vlad Konstantinov, so hats off to Vlad because it looks like they've done an amazing job with this figure. But, again, looking closer at this head sculpt, it almost looks like it's out of a screenshot from the movie. The crisp detail is insane. I love the expression that they chose for this Godzilla figure. It really does look like Godzilla is kind of snarling in this particular expression that they chose. Those very furrowed brows and the nose seems to be crinkling a little bit. And then of course we kind of have like a almost angry looking smile or, or grin. Just as important as any sculpt is a paint job. 
and Spiral Studios has done a great job with the paint as well. You can just see all these little cracks and crevices and details, the dirt, the different shades, and while I'm likely not going to be able to get this figure, unfortunately, I will forever imagine what it's like to do figure photography with this thing because there is so much potential, especially when you have such big figures, you can do such crazy angles because they're so sizable. And speaking of photography, the promotional images that they used for both the heat ray version and standard versions are really cool. The standard version's promotional image is sort of replicating that airport scene from 2014. And then of course the heat ray version is almost a representation of one of the posters from 2014. And I guess we'll just do a sort of pan throughout the body of the figure here. Again, so many textures and details that are beautifully replicated throughout the entirety of this piece. Uh, you can really see how the tail texture kind of differs from the central point of the body and the, the dorsals, of course, look different as well. Almost very rock-like, I would say. And, and seeing this particular figure from Spiral Studio, I would really love for them to make some version of Godzilla Earth because I know it's not the same as this design, but the MonsterVerse design of Godzilla does remind me very much of the Godzilla Earth and vice versa, especially in terms of the coloring and specific shape and texture. So I'd love to see them do something with that version of Godzilla as well. So these are my general thoughts on the figure. Even though I won't be able to get it for myself, I really wanted to talk about it just because I was so impressed by it. But as always, I am curious to know what you guys think about this one. Will you be getting this one? Are you pre-ordering it? Comment down below. Lastly, if you like the content, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and taking a look at my other Godzilla figure content on the channel. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.